The last pivot table topic I'm going to talk about is calculated fields. This is a more advanced function of pivot tables, but it will be very useful when you need to manipulate the data in the pivot rather than in the data set that feeds the pivot. In order to create a calculated field, you need to go to the Analyze ribbon under Pivot Table Tools and click on the Fields, Items, and Sets drop-down. And select Calculated Field. In this pop-up, you'll be able to create new fields in the pivot table by performing simple math on the fields that already exist. First, you'll be asked to name this new field you're creating, and then you'll need to type in the formula. You can think of typing a formula for a calculated field the same way as you think about typing a formula into a cell. As an example, we can calculate average losses from claim count and losses in our pivot table. We'll start by naming the field Average Loss Calc. Next, we'll need to enter the formula, and fortunately, Excel has given us some help. In the pop-up window, Excel includes a list of the existing fields in the pivot table. So, in order to calculate average losses, we need to click on Losses, and then click on Insert Field, and you can see Losses is now in the formula. We need to add the symbol for Divide By, and then click on Claim Count and Insert Field. Our formula will end up reading equals losses divided by claim count. Now we need to click Add and then OK. And you can see that average loss calc is now present in our pivot table. This is just one example of the possibilities with calculated fields. You could even include something like an if statement in the calculated fields. You're going to find that calculated fields will be frequently used in pivot tables and will make your pivot tables more agile and easy to work with. But if you close your eyes